and welcome back to the channel. It's a baking hot day. The car, I'm in my 911, the 996. It's been out in the baking hot sun for about, well, all day. It's now 2.30 in the afternoon. And uh, I'm melting into the seat. It feels a bit weird, because I haven't driven it for a while. I feel like my seating position's off and everything, but I have been in the Boxster quite a bit. Quite a bit, I say I've driven about 20 miles in it. More about that in a second. Firstly, thank you to everybody who's hit subscribe, like, and uh, commented. Um, as I said on my previous video, where I talked a little bit about the channel, 78% of the view, of the views are from non-subscribed viewers. Hang on, that's all right. And if some of, if half of those just hit subscribe, that'd be amazing. Um, because, and also, you know, the geography of where people are viewing from, I think 30% is from the UK, about 20% is from the US, and the rest is broken down between Australia, uh, European countries, and whatnot. So I appreciate all of the diverse viewership, but it would be great if I could just get a bit more people subscribing just so they get the regular update to say that I've put a new video out, which I'm going to do more regularly. I mean it. Um, but anyway, about the Bogster. <clears throat> oh, I feel a bit tickly. I've been out in the Bogster. So I did that day of, I drove it about three times and I, I did about 20, 25 miles in it. And um, I've come to the conclusion that I fucking hate it. It's just, it's not enjoyable. Well, it is enjoyable in the small, bursts or small situations where you turn onto a road and you know you're accelerating and it makes a great noise because it's got that hack on the exhaust and but then it's got the the clicking which is the chime, timing chain guides probably and then obviously you've got the suspension stuff so I hate it and that's it I want to get rid of it I'm sick of paying the road tax and insurance uh, on it it's got about 11 months MOT left it's just got to go I've just had enough um, and that's the number one thing. The other thing is, this car is starting to drive. This is my 1998 996.1. So it's just a Carrera, Carrera 2. And when I first got it three years ago, just over three years ago, it didn't drive great. And I was thinking, what's the, all the fuss about 911s? And it was because it wasn't used very regularly. So it just didn't run right. It didn't you know, rev easily, didn't make the right noise, and so I, I, rode, I drove it every day. It was my everyday car, and it was kind of spring, so, and I was giving it the beans wherever I went, you know, right up to the speed limit on everything. As soon as I got up to the speed limit, I'd, I'd drive it quite hard. And then, suddenly, I went out for a drive. I was dry, going on like a 50 mile drive to somewhere for work. And it just, everything just suddenly started working better. And for the next two and a half year or two, two years, it was fantastic. But then the pandemic hit and I stopped driving it. And then obviously I've not been working for 11 months now. And it just in the last few weeks, it started to feel a bit like that again because I drive it so infrequently. I drive it about once a week, which is rubbish and I need to really make a concerted effort to drive it again. Oh, that's the thingy there. There was a little... Ah! Fuck, the seat's so hot! Oh, that really... That was a bit of a shock. I forgot what I was going to point. I think it was a deer. Ah! That, that's like a hot stove type feeling. Um, what was I saying? Yes, so I need to drive it a lot more. Uh, but also, I did, I'm so disappointed with all of my time from the moment that I resigned from my job last June. And I thought I would do more YouTube content and I would generate more uh, interest and I would have more conversations with people with similar cars and similar interests or meet more people. But then what happened, obviously I moved house at the same time. And I lost my garage. I sound really, sound really nasally today because I feel a, a bit flemmy. Flemmy. Not Flemish. Flemmy. And so from that moment that we sold the house, we moved, 
I didn't have a garage anymore. So my 912 went into storage. So I've, in that time off, I've driven it about three times. Today would be the perfect day to get it out. I'd be melting in there, but that's by the by because it'd just be all about fun and driving and air conditioning. Oh yeah, it's not on. There we go. And it'd just be fun driving in this heat and it out in the glorious sunshine and it would look fantastic and I would do stuff and fix it and all sorts. Uh, but I've got no garage, so it's in storage and for me to go and get it out of storage and I have to leave a car there, which probably I'd do the Boxster actually. But, it, the, but you know, that's just me having a winch. But what I'm gonna do is get rid of the Boxster ASAP now because I need the money and I hate it. The sun's out, so I, 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 you know, the weather's changed. I go out with the top down and it's just, I don't really enjoy it. I, I, I found my MG was immense fun with the top down because I wasn't going very fast, but it felt fast. And it was, I, I guess I knew the car so inside out, whereas this, this thing is just, yeah. Whereas this thing, the 996, I still love it. Now, I probably shouldn't do this because I haven't driven it. Oh, I'm in second gear. I want to give it the beans. Well, the other day I said it, it felt like it was struggling. It's not today. So even in fourth, doing 50 and... It's just, it's so much fun. I'd be devastated if this car died now. Because before I was thinking, well, it doesn't matter because it was a money thing. Oh, I'm gonna lose that money that I paid for it. And then I was thinking, well, it, but I love it so much. And then I was thinking, but if it did die, it doesn't matter because, because I would be able to recoup the money that I paid for it. So I'd just put it on eBay or whatever and someone would bid for it. I'd sell it for the same money that I bought it for because the price has gone up and they can just buy it for parts. They can fix up the engine, whatever goes wrong with it. They can do whatever they want with it. But whereas now, it's just a bit different because I just love it so much and I know I would not be able to afford another one, mostly because I haven't got a job. And I've, I've just, I feel like I've wasted that. I know I've done so, you know, so much when it comes to renovations at my house, at our new house, but I've not grown my online presence. Although I've so enjoyed doing the podcast with Mark and it would be great. I need to get Magnus on. Someone, if you're out there, you know Magnus, have a word with him. You need to come on that podcast. And then what I also need is, who else would I like on? I should ask Tom, TG TV. I think he'd do it. He always responds when I comment on something crazy that he's doing. And I said to him, I asked him, where's the furthest he's been? Um, and he's 912, I think I said this in the last video. And, uh, and I want to drive to Scotland in it. I, I really want to do that, because that was the whole point when I first bought it. I thought that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, that was just a mini rant about my Boxster that I hate it. I hate the thing. Just because, not it's also what it represents. It represents a, a failure. Because this car I bought in a no way, I bought it unseen, not really driven, not having driven it. And, and you buy the buyer, right? I saw the lady selling it and I thought, do you know what? Even if there is something wrong with it, I know it won't be because because of her. It's because she's something that she don't know. She, did, she don't know, she don't know. It's because she's something she doesn't know. And she even told me some things that didn't work, that did work, um, and I had to explain to her why they did work and why she thought they didn't work. She also told me that, or someone came along and said, the head gasket's gone, and I had to tell her why they've said that. They said it mostly because they wanted to corner around the car, and there was also things obviously she said that did work but she was unaware that they did work like the air conditioning so so I didn't meet the seller of the Boxster um, and some of the stuff I don't know if he knew that they, it didn't 
it had a problem with obviously the water leak coming in because he had a hard top on it I don't know how long he had that hard top on and then there was the what do you call it obviously the suspension was knackered the brakes were knackered he knew that he was disgusting inside he knew that the timing chain guys he had to know that and also it hadn't been driven that year so since it had its MOT it hadn't been driven very much and obviously the oil uh, separator but that yeah that was knackered so all of them I mean most of those things are fixed the suspension the brakes pads and discs on the back um, the CV boots the it's no longer disgusting it's actually quite nice inside now it's got virtually a full MOT so all of those things are sorted, but how do I sell it? How do I sell it? Do I just put it on eBay and just, you know, well, Fleabay as people call it and just go, it's the Wild West. You know, just people bidding all over the place, not turning up, then you put it on again, then you put it on again, put it on a trader and every call that you get, is just someone trying to, you know, pull a fast one and then auto trade to tell you, after you've told them your life story and your mother's maiden name and your first pet's name, or to try to send you a text saying, oh, by the way, this person is a car artist. Do not interact with them again. And you're just like, you could, dude, you could have told me that before. Also, having a background in technology, if you know that when the call comes in from the number, you can actually deflect the call somewhere else. Why haven't you done that? So, or trader, give me a buzz. And that's it, I guess. So... That was just a quick video. It's actually gone on way too long. I want to cut loads out of it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subs hitting subscribe. Please hit subscribe. That would be great because then just if I could build up a regular interaction with people. So any ideas about what to do with the Boxster, let me know. Because um, it's just, just got to go or how I can sell it. I need to get rid of it. What's going on here? Why are these people driving through a red light. Anyway, uh, catch you on the next video.